Hey everyone, I want to do this um, walkthrough of the Ethereum uh, 1.0 tokenomics and I'll try and um, hide and, and show more parts of this diagram so that we get to the full version towards the end. Um, so Ethereum is a <clears throat> currently, in the current version, it's a proof of work uh, consensus mechanism. Um, we're migrating, or it's planned to migrate to Ethereum 2.0 in the in the future. Maybe it will happen this year. We don't know where. If if that happens, we'll we'll get to proof of stake. Um, the difference to Bitcoin mainly is that Ethereum allows or or allows the usage of smart contracts. So that gives the token a lot more utility. And smart contracts really mean you can <coughs> save. And run code on this uh, in this blockchain environment. So a smart contract means that you can kind of save as a transaction a, a, a piece of code that can be referred to it that can be run. That allows all sorts of interesting scenarios like these decentralized applications, the whole DeFi world, um, and even own tokens that can be launched on top of the Ethereum network, which is something that's uh, yeah a pretty cool thing. And um, yeah, being proof of work means there's mining. So currently Ethereum is mined. So somebody is, um, they're solving some, as we always call it, some interesting math problems to uh, yeah, create and verify um, these, these blocks with the transactions in them. And um, <clears throat> well, with that, with that mining, we get about 4.5% of um, annual network issuance so we get four four point five percent of the current supply will get as new supply and um currently by the time of the recording this we had about 45 million ethereum that has been mined that's of course not all of it there's there's more so if we think about what is available on the market then there's also the genesis supply so very different to and um, to to Bitcoin is that Ethereum has had a pre-mine, so 75, 72 million ETH were handed out to early contributors, investors, and the foundation. So that is also in the hands of people somewhere, and potentially available on the market as as supply. So that genesis supply, and then this this mining that has been going on uh, for a while now. So. <clears throat> that brings us to an issuance of uh, 4.9 million annually. And if we combine all these numbers, we get to roughly 116 million ETH um, that's currently in, in supply. And um, if we then look at <clears throat> the users, of course, they can, on the market, beat on centralized or decentralized exchanges. They can buy and sell their ETH um, there yeah leading to um price discovery and um yeah well what also happens if if you if we buy and sell like most of the um supply that comes from mining is is inflation but also a transaction fees is is charged and since e ip 1559 um a part of that transaction fee is now burned so see this as we'll split this up here and um an optional tip goes to the miners that will get you, um, yeah, potentially get you your transactions um, settled faster or into a block faster, and the other part is, is burned. And um, there's only estimates on this so far. Um, we can go to the website, watch it burn. Uh, yeah, an idea would be 70% of uh, transaction fees are actually burned. So the more transactions we do, the more of this ETH gets burned, which could turn ETH, and there's some projections on that, turn that into a, yeah, deflationary currency for at least a while. And um, yeah, that, that'd be quite interesting um, dynamics that we could see here. Anyway, this is a super simple um, kind of setup, not very different from, from Bitcoin really, right? So we have, um, Transactions and users need to pay for these transactions. They pay tokens for that, call the transaction fee, and that goes a 
part of that goes to miners, a part of that is burned. <clears throat> so is is therefore kind of like reintroduced into the into the market via the miners. Um, but overall, through a lot of transactions, we should see um, a lot of burning and potentially bring down that 4.5% uh, inflation to a much lower number, which, uh, yeah, could be uh, quite interesting. Thanks for watching.